Gold mining has been a traditional uh, trade of the people of Ghana. The conditions in the unlicensed gold mining sites are deplorable, especially for children. And of course, we also have the issue of bonded labor. Now there is a high preference for children because children do not have a bargaining power. They don't determine the rate that they want to take. You know, they are often assigned in a row. But for the most part, you find children engaged in the process of the washing, grinding, and also processing the, the grounded ore and mixing the mercury. So basically, children are engaged in one of the most dangerous parts uh, of the mining operation. The most complex situation about child slavery in mining is that sometimes it's difficult to actually identify it when you come face to face with it. Through our work, we have realized that child slavery actually exists in mining communities. We need to rather build people's capacity to be able to see it when they come face to face with it. Basic rights. What FTS and its grassroots partners does is to allow community to participatorily select representatives for FTS and the grassroots partner to train. They then go back to their various communities to start mobilizing people for action. Oh, me do my dear, me did the boy crono. Emma Hongua, Same Boa, Ame Crono, and Kuala Wumu. The Betcher on Quire, on the Fasua, on Bay Adia, Etene, Yam Fakurebi, and Ko How Bimu, a woman or on the Brayania, Yusian, Lucrine, a boy ye, and someone Obu Kunumun, a Adia Yukuri. Because I fought in Kuala, Galamse, and near day, and Kuala, I do be a Jumadin, Nina, a beef cream. And Nam Sadi, we are ye in tin, learning group, a Sian Krata in tin, a ma, a bin much on more from Galamse. The curriculum, I would say, is the heart of the Child Right Project because it is what generates the community discussion, what generates the desire to change people's attitude. Now because the books are just tailored for adult use, we also engage with the children in a different uh, line. So children are formed into child rights clubs. They are given various education on slavery, on trafficking, on the effects of response of child labor. We now have children who are actually demanding their basic rights from uh, duty bearers through the child rights clubs that we form in the communities. We have learning groups actually following up on their action plans, moving on to district assemblies, engaging the district authorities, to demand some of the things that they have the right to. What I hope to see as a result of our program intervention in the mining areas is to see every child of school going age in school. So I would say a lot has been done, but a lot more uh, needs to be done in the area of child protection. <laughs>